Hey everybody, it's Jeff. Welcome to another episode of Stay Rad Wine Blog TV. You thought I forgot about this. I didn't. I just uh, took a little break. So last week, um, for those of you that didn't see it, uh, I received some samples from Big House Wines. And last week I reviewed their uh, Big House White just because it was really hot outside and I was just feeling something light and crisp and aromatic, and, and it was a great wine. I believe I gave it like an 88, uh, maybe an 88 plus. And when you're talking about a, a white wine that's like 10 bucks, uh, retail, suggest a retail price, and you could probably find it for seven at your local grocery store, that's not a bad bargain at all. Um, I kind of put the big house red on hold because a couple months back, you saw, I already viewed the, reviewed the Big House uh, Red 2010. This is the 2011 right here. So this is their current vintage. Um, I think now's as good a time as any to kind of dive on into it on this Wine Wednesday. Hope you guys are having fun. Um, always a fan of screw tops. And again, um, if you didn't know, Big House was the first... Uh, was it the first winery or at least the first American winery um, to do all screw tops with theirs? And you also know that originally Big House was part of the Bonnie Dune uh, franchise. It was eventually sold to um, uh, the Wine Group, which is a pretty big company, um, which is why they can make this wine for so cheap, just because they, they, they make tons of this stuff. Um, now, as far as the breakdown for these grapes... If you go to the Big House website, you're going to find the breakdown for the 2009 Big House Red. Um, so I did a little bit of searching, and I do have the breakdown for the 2011 Vintage. 19% Grenache. This is going to take a while, uh, by the way. 17% Syrah. So you're thinking, oh, it's like a Southern Rhone type of thing. But then you throw in 16% Tempranillo. We're going to Spain, right? 14% Petit Verdot. Oh, now we're in France. Then it's 6% Mervedrer. You got 4% Sa Sagranito. Never had that one before. 3% Malbec. 2% Nero Amaro. 1% Taro. <laughs> Tarl Dago, there you go. Uh, one per tenth was Tite Syrah, one per tenth uh, percent Tanat, and then five percent others. So I mean, this is really just a mixed bag, um, and I believe all of this fruit. It says California on there. Big House is uh, stationed in Soledad, and I believe they get a lot of their, um, if not the majority of their fruit, from their Soledad vineyards. Color-wise, I mean, this is nice, nice and dark. Um, and these guys do have a, a they do have a, um, what's the word? What's the word, guys? What's the word? They do have um, a, a history of being known as like a, uh, a fruit balm uh, type of wine. And for 10 bucks, you know, sometimes that's all people are looking for. So you got uh, good odds there finding something you're going to like. So nice dark color, almost like verging on purple there. On the nose, I am getting some cedar. I am getting a little bit of like, um, like a matchbook. Uh, type of place. So not just the wood, but the um, the minerals that are kind of going into like a matchstick, like at the end of it, like the sulfur, right? I am getting like some uh, plum. I am getting like some black cherry, a little bit of graphite. So there's kind of some fun like household items that are going in there as well. I mean, smells really nice. Uh, a little bit of, a little bit of like dried cranberry too. Good stuff. Let's uh, take a sip here. On the initial tap, the first thing I got was like this bright red um, combination of like cherry and tomato feel um, as it was going into my mouth. And then in an instant transition to these like dark, lush plums. Um, there are some nice tannins in there, a little chalky, which I like, 
a little astringent, which I'm hesitant of, but I mean, for, for $10, um, you know, I can let the astringency slide. Um, let me get back into this. And, and you know, definitely the there's a nice little acid that I'm still feeling right now. So this is a good food wine. I'm thinking pizza. I'm thinking burgers. I'm thinking a Wednesday night, you know? A little bit of that bike tire, right? But mainly you are getting like these these big fruit flavors, but it's not one dimensional at all. It is really interesting. There are a lot of different layers that all these different grapes are bringing into it. And this is a wine that you can sit and think about. Um, it's not, you know, I think the thing that makes me hesitant to like throw this anywhere close to the 90 point range is that, you know, it, it, this is a wine that you can pour and just sip and hang out and kind of forget about. Um, it's not a wine that that is going to be the topic of conversation either. It's just it's just really good, right? It's really good, and this um, definitely falls in that eighty eight plus range for me. And it's it's some quality juice. And again, this is one you're going to find anywhere, anywhere. This is from the the second largest wine uh, conglomeration uh, in the United States. So I mean, it's around. And again. Suggested retail at 10 you could probably find it for for definitely for seven probably for six at some places But some good stuff some quality juice. This is what you kind of buy a case of and just have you know Around for when you're not sure what else you want to have Great wine. Um, I'm sure plenty of you have had this before um, I'm sure that plenty of you will in the future. So I want to hear your thoughts about it um I want to hear your thoughts on just like weird varietals in general. I mean, there were some things, uh, Negro Amaro, I've never had before, Sagrantino, uh, I never really had that one. I mean, how do you feel about the weird varietals? You know, sometimes they really bring something cool to the table and sometimes, I don't know, it's, uh, you kind of realize after you try them, you know, why you've never really heard of them because they're, they're not really bringing anything that great, but uh, this is great. Uh, so, you know, check it out. Let me know what you think and I will uh, hear from you guys soon and you'll hear from me soon. Everybody, stay rad.